Hey out there, how y'all doing today? Welcome on in. Hey Epi. I am here. Let me turn up this game volume. We got loud waterfalls, so I turned it down for a little bit. They're so loud in this game. Um, hope y'all are doing well. Hope you had a, a wonderful Monday night. Monday day. Uh, we're here to play some Animal Crossing. I don't know what I'll be getting done today, per usual. My usual Animal Crossing gig. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. A whole lot of nothing. Uh, but thank you. Welcome. Mwah. Let's get... St oh. I guess I should switch to the full screen. Whoopsie. Hi. A little behind this, the hood action there. Alright. Um... Just hop right to it. Uh, I So I finished the last stream. I spread out mine and my husband's houses and pushed them far back to the edge of the mountaintop here. Mr. End of the World Cupid. Oh. Hi, Alex. Um, yeah, I pushed mine and my husband's houses apart and all the way to the back. And he's got this nice, cute little front yard area and a little zen garden. And I've got this little patio and small little front yard area with a little pond. So it looks cute up here, actually. I do like this better than what I had. It just feels like I'm maximizing the space a bit better. Having a path behind the houses was ultimately pointless, so. Mr. Into the World Cupid was intense. That side quest was intense. I was so not ready for all that. It was. It was a good side quest. I was definitely kind of racked by the end of it, though. Literally, he was grabbing it off of the hole as it was about to fall down into it. I was like, this couldn't have been any more to the wire. And somehow I pulled it off. <laughs> I pulled it off. Uh, I'm just glad I don't have to redo it. I'm just glad it was a one-shot deal and I got it on the first shot because I can't imagine. I mean, I could have played like a whole cycle with the days at normal speed or whatever, but it was it was a test. But I think, I don't know, I guess the last, the next stream will either be the last or the second to last with Majora. I feel like that game's taken me a while. I've done like six sessions with it or something. It does, yeah, it does look way better. I agree. Um, I kind of want to wear, maybe we'll wear this cute little fancy shirt. Cute little LaBelle shirt. Um, and then... Thinking something kind of loud. That's kind of cute. I feel like the pink actually works better. Hmm, maybe this pink though. Or the hot pink. Hey! Hey, Epi. I think we'll do the light pink. That hideout sequence marks the first time in a Zelda game where you can play as a character that isn't Link. Oh, I guess that is true, huh? I was thinking Wind Waker, but Wind Waker was definitely after. It is springtime. We could wear our cute little striped shorts that we bought. You like that outfit? Yeah, I think I'll do the light pink pants. I think those work the best. And then... Maybe just like some flips, some flops. Cute little... Fresh flower in the hair and maybe some flops. Keep it simple and sweet. You have like one pair of pants. I have like all pants and a couple pairs of shorts. Like no skirts. Um, No glasses. We'll keep it glasses free today. No socks because if we're going to wear flops. I don't really have that many pairs of flip flops do I? Did I get rid of them all? Oh no, here they are. Maybe the pink ones? The purple ones? 
What are the pink ones? Hmm. I kind of like that. I wish it was a different purple flower. Maybe I should go pluck me like a purple pansy. I think I'll do that. I like the cropped pants because if you choose to wear socks, you get to see them. I wouldn't really wear cropped pants in real life, but they're cute in the game for sure. Oh yes, I'm looking spring fresh. Okay. Uh, let's go find us a little purple pansy. My inventory is a bit of a mess. Hold over from last session. All right, purple pansy. I could do a purple windflower. Oh. Oh my god, after playing Majora's Mask, I have the buttons mapped all different there. So I'm going to hit B a bunch tonight by accident. I'm sure of it. All right, yeah, that's cute. Okay. So, we got some things to do. I wanna find some cute garden things for the Zen garden. I almost feel like I should put some water in here or something. It's so small, I feel like there's very little space. I could honestly open this up on this side too, couldn't I? No, it doesn't work as a bridge. It's purely decorative. I wish it did though. That would be cute. You could press A and, like, walk over it. Yeah, I don't know. I want this bridge to work, but I don't think it's going to work. This area is too small for it, I think. like I should order another one of these and put it in the back. Let me see. I don't think this hallway is going to look good here, but I kind of just want to see what it looks like outside. A great space divider. You want to use those screens we got somehow? I agree, they're really nice. They seem like they could be good used outside in like a Japanese city kind of vibe. stuff on the sides of the screen what on the the little table right oh or do you mean like wall items oh on the table i was like oh, if we could put wall items on those that would be a game changer got excited there for a sec all right um do we have a little water loving animal in town I don't think I do. I guess I'm going to say this little lily pad table would be really cute in front of like a frog's house or something, but I don't really have any frogs or water-based babies.
Hmm. I feel like I could use it somewhere out here, though. Maybe it'll look good out here in front of Agent S's house. Got the Hello Kitty planner. We can turn that backwards so we don't get all that bow. The blue pot totally works out here, too. Let's pull it over here. Oh, it's not going to let me. Yes, we can block. I'd rather block her sign, I think. The only mushroom you have is the big one that Hedgy gave you once. Dropped it one time and it looked great, so you never moved it. Oh, like, like scattered, like the little mushrooms you find on the ground kind of vibe. They do look pretty just sitting around. I want to get one of the mushroom stools, I think, and put it over here too, maybe. Might go craft one. Um... I really want to... I mean, the bridge is red, so I don't really... I don't think I can use it out in town. I don't think it's going to work for me. Sir, I guess I should craft me, like, a, a rock for the Zen Garden or something. The Mush Parasol. Yeah. I was... That one... You don't really get a full blue one, though, do you? No. You get white, yellow, strange, which is the strange one that does look cool and ordinary. I would like to put the strange one somewhere around town. I think that would be pretty. The blue one's just so perfect. Maybe I can squeeze the Monstera over here. Just put like, like that up against the wall. So it just gives a little bit of like roughage there on the edge of her her little area. I kind of want to put a bush in there too, actually. Yeah, I like the, I might get a strange mushroom and maybe like a mushroom lamp. Maybe I'll go kind of mushroom themed with her yard. Cause I can get a blue mushroom. And I could put like a tiny little strange mushroom and a blue mushroom and like a bush here and just call her yard see she's got like the biggest yard to play with so and boris's yard is pretty big too what would boris have in his yard i need to work on yard decorating today that's probably like a good idea francine's is like a nothing burger there's like nothing to do here i could put something behind this organ i could put Something over here. I'm thinking like maybe she gets a little I might make like a little road extension here. Or put like a little bench in front of her house, maybe would be cute. By this light post. There is no benches over here. I could make a bench. This whole little strip. Whole little strip is kind of empty I really don't know what to do with blue bears yard either to be honest there's so much I I don't know what to do with yet maybe I can fit this little I really want to find a, a use for the The little tray. I just think it's so cute.
I wonder if it would look cute, like, on the water. Or if it would, if you, uh, I guess, maybe. Let's put this back where it was. Kind of getting an idea. Let me try. I'm just going to see how this looks. It may look stupid. <clears throat> Good to have you. Nope, I can already tell. Don't like it. Street piano. Street organ piano thing is nice. I guess I could put the street organ in Hopkins' backyard with to like go with the piano. Oh, thank you, Baron. Always appreciated. We are a day away from seven months. Almost 200. We're at 209 days. she thinking of i'm gonna let her think on that whatever she's thinking on continue to think on that oh shit this grew three this grew a full cycle well at least i know this can grow here i didn't want that i wanted it to be partially grown whoops i guess i should dig that up and plant the small one <laughs> that was a mistake oh Thoughts on the planners we got? The, uh, what planners? The ones for Easter? I think if you're talking about the Easter ones, I think they're fucking adorable. I love them. Oh, that's not correct. Uh, I think the Hello Kitty shrub is cute. I love a good topiary. I think it it's precious. I don't really like the bow on it, so I'm sure I'll always use it turned around, but it is cute. I'm for it. What is this, a fossil? Yeah. Never understood month breakdowns in calendars. Count months as 30 days, no matter how long or short. Yeah, I mean, the measure of time is super subjective. Other than it takes a full 365 days to go around the sun, there's really no... I mean, you know, it's all based around that, essentially, right? Well, and I guess night and day. I mean, there's like... But yeah, the months. There is no reason why it's month to month to month. I think... I don't know. I don't know why it was decided that way. Probably like a seasonal thing. The way that we break up the year by seasons, you know? I have all this, you know what? We need to, this person, they don't need all these roses. They have all this wonderful yard space. I need to like chill on the flowers, I think. It's time to like officially get rid of some flowers and give them some room for yard space. Which 
would you pay good money for a Kurt painting from another artist? I would probably just paint one myself. But I mean, if it was if it was something that truly blew me away, absolutely, yeah. Wish, how would you? I mean, time being metric. There's, I mean, I'm, there's there might be an easier way to measure it. I don't know. I don't think anyone's truly figured that out. Maybe the lily pad table would look cute over here. Maybe I should just like plop it down in this little area. I feel like actually it does kind of make sense over by this little tiny pond. You're an old guy. I feel old. <laughs> Am I old? I guess that's up for debate. I certainly do feel old. But age, you know, you could be in your 50s or 60s and feel young. beetle i'm doing very well i'm just kind of like thinking a little bit about stuff since she's a laundromat i mean i guess this parking i need to order more cars for this parking lot got our little pumpkin patch here i think a scarecrow would be cute over here maybe i should make a little scarecrow And put it like right here. How are you, Beetle Moth? How are you doing today? Something could go here. Glad you didn't work today and deal with an eternity of stupid people. What do you work in retail? Because. <laughs> Yes. It's exhausting. It truly is. Partial sales. Oh, you had clay? You had a clay studio today? Sounds fun. Here, I'm gonna put a little bench here. I'm gonna have to get rid of some flowers. How did your clay classes go today, Beetle? Did you work on anything fun? Maybe I should just put a trash can right here. This seems like a nice area for just like a random public trash can to go. And then maybe I'll just put, like, some hedges around it or something.
He made a frog stand for incense. Interesting. Sounds like a good day. Probably the best name on Twitch you've seen so far besides yours. Not to toot your own horn or nothing, right? <laughs> nothing wrong with a little self-credit. Alright, we're gonna do... Yeah, we're just gonna do a little trash can here. Put this little... Hedge back. Boom. Put this in there. Baron, Chaos, and Beetle Moss are pretty good names. They're pretty good. I wonder if hedges would look good around this little light post, too. If we're going to get a little fancy over here. I always try. I mean, honestly, in this game, fencing does so much for you. The fact that they gave us fencing at all is such a godsend. It's such a nice thing to have. I'm thinking of... I need to grab some bushes today. I want to put some bushes out, too. I wish you could put trees right up against the water. That's one thing I'm kind of like... I wish, it, like, if I could have a tree right here, it would be perfect. It would just, like, really fill in this space nicely. Um, like, I could put a bush right here. What did I... I, I used to have a trash can right here, because Clay was kind of a lazy boy. Keep his trash up at the road all week forever. Nah, you can't put trees right next to the water, unfortunately. Because if you could, I would be doing that all over the place. I definitely would be. I kind of want to take these power lines up. Wait. They don't serve much of a purpose. It's kind of like an idea I had to make it look more city-like, but it doesn't really do much. Yeah, trees up against the water is one of those, like, small things that would really help with, like, I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but it would just help give a subtle intricacy to design that just pushes it a little further. What is your favorite game? I would say this is my favorite game. That's easy, because I love Animal Crossing, and this is probably the game I've sunk in the most hours into in my entire life. So I would have to say this one. Do I want to move these over half of... I do, I, you know, I had a, a creative Minecraft server 
that I was playing for a little bit. I had it up for about two months, maybe three months, but I kind of fell out of it. I could bring it back up anytime. I just haven't really bothered. I kind of, I got really into, uh, I just been started, I started getting way more paint stream redemptions. So it just became kind of harder for me to keep up with it. But I do like Minecraft. Do I like that? I don't really like them side by side like that. I wish I did. What makes Animal Crossing better than Minecraft? I don't think it's technically better. I would say Minecraft is technically the deeper game. And probably you can accomplish a lot more in Minecraft. Um, I just kind of enjoy Animal Crossing. Because it's not so deep that it's overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't call it the better game. Should I take these trees out? You know what? Maybe. I think I know what I want to do. I think I want to take these out and put half grown trees in their place. Hey, Baz. Minecraft's much more complex, so you don't know if you would say it has the same amount of life and soul. Yes, the universe of Minecraft feels extremely... Um, not dead, but kind of, like, lifeless. I think I can... I kind of consider that, like, two separate terms, even though they're... They're similar. There's, like, a, a sterile kind of empty quality to the world of Minecraft. Animal Crossing just has a more of that like personality and flair. It's Yeah, I think I want like maybe a, a two day grown tree or something. I'm going to have to I'm going to play with this a little bit, do some time traveling and really start honing in on these exterior details that I've really ignored for a long time. I've really wanted to start playing Diablo 2 again, Baron. I'm not good at it, but I enjoy it. I always lose steam around the jungle. The original Doom I was absolutely terrible at, by the way. They're both great games, though, yeah. It's going well, Baz. I've had a chill day. I thought about playing a little bit of Animal Crossing off-stream, but I was like, mm, I think I'll wait. I think I'll hold off. But yeah, I, I really want to go back to Diablo 2. Maybe one day I'll actually finish it. <laughs> Not likely, but maybe. Have your Meteor Sork in HD. I can't believe we're getting an HD Diablo 2. That is so fucking nice to me. I just love that. Oh, you want me to do an outfit change? I can do an outfit change. Let me, here, let me, um... Did I already replant the sapling? I did. I Okay, so let me go ahead and put these down. Let me go get some coconuts. I'm gonna have to sell some crap. Get it out of my way. I can't believe we're getting an HD Diablo 2. That is such a dream. I hope it's like essentially the same exact game that just looks beautiful. I hope they really don't change a bunch about it. Because Diablo 2 was such a deep, wonderful, it's like deep but simple gameplay. I don't know. 
something about it it just really works at what it, it does what it does well almost perfectly and it's honestly a system and a game template that's timeless like the gameplay is just as good now as it was the day it came out it's just as engaging it's it's really fun yeah starcraft 2 was great i'm terrible at those games but i just love to watch and play them even though i'm not great at them all right let's just ditch all these flowers ditch these we don't need don't need a full-grown cedar oh no we want to keep that i'm gonna take some stuff to uh the planter we'll keep the utility poles all pull up we don't need the pull up bar that was an accident purchase um yeah these the rest is good starcraft 2 was so fun i didn't play it but maybe a year like i never played it beyond the first expansion but i just remember playing tons i even made a couple maps um and then I played a lot of the Risk. There was like a Risk mode in StarCraft 2, which was really fun. You know, they're improving storage in Diablo 2, which is fair and totally neat. That's true. The UI in that game could definitely use some work. Hey, Mint Shock. How you doing? We might keep fencing out just so we can play around with it. Oh, I guess I forgot to sell that blue pansy. We'll come back to all this stuff. I feel like they'll completely, utterly F up Diablo 2 when remaking it. I gotta say, I mean, I don't hold out a lot of hope for modern day video gaming compared to like video gaming 20 years ago and but I, I feel like I never played Diablo 3 either, so I don't know. I don't know how that compared to Diablo 2, but I feel like generally it was not a renowned game, but people saw it as adequate. But I don't think it had the same staying power that 2 had. But again, I never played it. It was just like Observer... You know, just as an observer, that's how it seemed. Gameplay's only a small, small part of what they can F up. I think they should keep the voice acting, as is. Do not mess with the voices. Oh, okay, we're going to switch days, and then I'll do a new outfit. Oh, wait, no, I need to plant these. What am I thinking? I gotta plant these. And then I'll have to put safety... Shrubs, or safety thingies behind them. I think I'm going to skip two days ahead. Three when it launched was a mess. A few years later after multiple updates took off again. I was honestly surprised they never really expanded on three the same way they did two. Like we didn't get more jobs. Stuff like that. Hey, Majorna. Only Diablo you played was three, so you only have that point of view. Oh, they did add more jobs? Oh. Because I remember when it came out, there was only like four job classes or something, and it was like a disappointment. But again, I, I didn't keep up with it much. I would love to play it now, but I just, I don't know. I don't really have a reason why I haven't purchased it other than I can't justify spending that much on an older game. All right, we're going to skip ahead two days. We're going to see how all these saplings look. Two was so fun, though, even though I, I don't think I ever beat hell. I think my problem was I never did enough grinding. So by the time I got the hell, I was just like so underpowered. 
that I, <laughs> I don't know. I guess you're supposed to grind way more than I was willing to. Or I just had really, probably the better, probably I just had really bad builds. Probably the better thing. I usually, I like to play like Sorceress and Assassin and Amazon and stuff. I was never a barbarian kind of guy, you know? Of course. Barbarian's so boring. Not high on your list for games of that genre. It's just like any other game I've played that was like that, like Baldur's Gate. It never... That kind of like randomly generated dungeon crawler. It just never seemed to stack up to the feel of Diablo 2. Oh, I should have ordered some items. Whoops. Found memories of Doom's first three chapters being on floppy disks. Oh my god. The first floppy disk game we owned was a game that was like Doom called Hexen. It was like an eight floppy disk installation. It was The installation was spread across like eight floppy disks. Totally. I loved that game. I'm sure it's horrid to play now. And I, I think I've said this on stream before. My very first digital camera, the memory for my very first digital camera was floppy disks that you put into the side of it. It took floppy disks. Three megabyte floppies. You don't really consider Baldur's Gate the same thing because it's not randomly generated. It's much more based in old turn-based RPGs. True. True. Path of Exile is basically the refuge for people disappointed by Diablo 3, but still adore it. I've heard good things about Path of Exile. Yeah, I think two-day... What does the three-day shrub look like? I'm gonna look. And, or, not shrub. Animal Crossing New Horizons tree growth stages show me yeah i think that's what we gotta do because three is gonna cover it up again three is gonna cover up the chairs maybe i'll put like um Maybe I'll put something in front of these to make it look like it's just got a little bit of oomph and volume to it. Path of Exile is still running. The most recent update brought back a lot of people who hadn't played in a while. Alright, so we gotta put extra little saplings behind these to prevent growth. All you do is play Animal Crossing, eat hot chip, and lie. Same. The <laughs> same mood. All you do is write, delete, and as a Friday watch Twitch while doing the former two. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with a, a little or a whole lot of leisure time. I need to order trash. I need to order garbage. Oh my gosh, excuse me, hiccups. I need some garbage bins. Oh. You 
played for a day, got distracted because you're the worst for that. Animal Crossing rules life. All right, I wanted a trash can here. Why there's a space. Oh, I need a car. I need to order a car. They're off what writing. It keeps me sane. That's kind of how I feel about painting. People say I'm a great painter. I mean, I don't think I'm awful, like the worst, but I don't know. And I wouldn't say my stuff's like necessarily outsider art, but I feel like it doesn't really, there's not like a conventional attraction to my art, which it, it's fine, you know? I make it for me. I don't make it to be sold. It's just a different kind of art. Like the way I'm hyper focused on outlining. I just I don't know. I I go I go against like a lot of things a lot of artists say never to do. Like hard white outlines or black outlines or this and that, you know. It flattens things, which I don't know. I'm just kind of attracted to that a lot. Wait, the cars. Yeah, there's no actual car. <laughs> so you have to order the car bed. You got it. It's, it's a workaround. That's all they give us is a car bed. Not a car. I wish, but nope. I feel like I should replace this with a palm tree. Oh, the fruit never grew back on that. I feel like that should be a palm tree too. Come on. Oh, damn it. I'm not sure if I like all of these trees. Maybe this one should be a palm tree. And I can just keep three of them as normal trees. Oh, there's actually five of them. How's Muscle Beach? Muscle Beach is done. Muscle Beach is all done. She's complete. Yep, she's a done deal. but you don't know what to eat. I guess it depends what time it is for you. I don't know. Do you want to eat before bed? I mean, there's no harm in it. Uh, we'll put in some sand for our new palm tree. I generally just snack in the last few hours. I'm awake. I always get ravenously hungry like super late. Oop. All right, we'll get us an extra little palm tree there. 5:16 a.m. Um are you just waking up or have you not been to sleep? Honestly, it's just eat what you want is essentially the answer. Whatever will 
will make you feel... What's the word? At ease. Yeah, here's my little workout beach. Oh, you didn't sleep today. Hmm. Probably why your body's craving food. Because it needs energy. Um... I don't know. Size in the area of the fencing. Oh my god! Michael Frain, thank you for the resub. Appreciate that very much. Thank you for subbing to me. Oh, I'm honored you would choose me to sub to. Thank you. Hope you enjoy it. The Kurt emotes. Look what happened. Julian wears a muscle shirt, and now suddenly Agent F is wearing a muscle shirt after I get rid of that Julian. The audacity, the gall, the gumption. How dare. We can't get rid of muscle shirts. It's not a default clothing for her. It can't be. It absolutely cannot be. No. Okay, what else was I going to order? I just had something in mind and I didn't order it and now I've forgotten. Now I have forgotten and I don't remember. Um, it was... Um... Oh man. I got the car. You've been out MIA for a bit. Mental health has been bad, but you're okay now. That's good to hear. Hey, if... Yeah, if... You gotta take a break from... Anything. Digital life. Real life. You know, step back from friends. Step back from... Online... Activities. Whatever is best for your mental... Mental health is... The most important. Hey, Tammy. But it's glad to see you back. It's glad. I am glad to see you back. Sorry. That was like a hell of a, a sentence there. I'm glad to see you back. Thank you. How you doing, Tammy? All right. We need... What would be cute in Julian's yard? I'm thinking something like... Maybe the little cloud maker would look cute in his yard. I'm thinking of blue things though. Let me go make some mushroom stuff. I can get Agent S's yard done like right now. Before I get sidetracked. With time traveling, there's just always things to clean up. I should just leave them, but it's so hard for me. With Flo's yard, I could do, like... I feel like her yard should be more purple-based. Yes, I do sometimes glitch. From time to time, getting the words out is very difficult. It's glad to see you back. Z -z Let's see. Just hanging out. Taking a chill night. Hmm. I feel like I should have way more stuff in my inventory than I do. Like I look at what I'm what I have and I'm like you can't even do anything with that. Why do you still have that?
I love these little mom candles. Maybe, maybe the mom candles on the lily pad thing. Let me see how these look customized. I want to customize these and see what the options are. This could go in my husband's Zen garden. Maybe this could too. Got this rock. All right, now to craft some stuff. I'm going to need some mushrooms to make the mushroom bits. I don't remember which mushrooms I need. Probably one of those three types. I need some iron custom kits. Maybe some clay and stone. Who knows? You know, from here, like Attack on Titan. I feel like I should know what that is. It's like on the tip of my tongue, what that is. Is it a movie? Show? Oh, it's an animated series. Okay, I was thinking of something else. Never, I've never watched it. I have not seen. Just started playing again yourself yesterday and did a, did a total redesign of a lot of your island. Added a third house. A wrestling performance center. That sounds cute. Like a little sports arena. That's precious. Good night, Baron. Thank you for being here and hanging out. Hope you get some good rest. It's a pleasure to have you here. Let's see. I need to make one of the... Oop. I always do that. Especially after I play Majora. Because I keep hitting... I So when I play Majora, I map A to where B is and B to where Y is on this controller and it constantly throws me off the next day when I'm playing something. Oh, there's a game based on Attack on Titan. I don't know. There's so much anime I have not seen. I've never really dipped my toes into anime to be honest. There's so much of it that it's one of those things I, I find slightly overwhelming. You know? It's like, I'm someone who will like, if I can't commit to it, I'll probably just avoid it. I feel like I couldn't commit to fully taking in the genre. So I'm, I kind of just like, don't take it in at all. Okay. Mushroom lamp same goes with like video games too all right let's get this too oh i should pull out some bushes i like i could throw a couple of these around town let me make a few of these Oh, I can only make one. I like this would be cute in Flo's yard.
I should put wreaths on all their doors. Why haven't I done that yet? Like, this is such a pretty wreath right here. They'd all have to be purple or blue. The cool pansy wreath is really pretty. Purple hyacinth wreath. I feel like everyone should have a door decoration, and that's something I have not done at all. I'm surprised, you know, they didn't give us snow piles like they did leaf piles. Imagine if we could have cute little piles of snow. I feel like one of these would be really pretty. Maybe in Flo's yard, I could make like a purple one. Isn't this? This can be made iridescent. Cowrie. Maybe one of these. There's just so many options. It's overwhelming. Truly. You use some of those stands. They're, they're really pretty. I think I'll use them more in my residential part of town. Maybe not the city spot, spot so much. Though, maybe where I just put those half-grown trees, they'd look pretty. I can try them there. Okay, so I should do... There's just not good ice stuff to put in Flo's yard, so I think I want to go with, like, more of a cute floral theme, maybe? But, like, purple? I feel like this would be cute in Flo's yard. No, that's not really floral. I feel like I could get a rock or two and put them in some people's yards just for some flair. Small cedars are great. Where is... Oh, here it is. Hmm. Like a bird bath might be cute in somebody's yard. I can customize that. I'm trying to think of things that are just like pretty generic that you'd see in a lot of people's yards. I don't want to make them like, I mean, I don't know. Some yards can be kind of eccentric, but I don't want to go too. I guess Agent S's is very different. It's like mush. It's going to be mushrooms and stuff. points all right i think i'm gonna order some snacks to put on those tables outside of abel's actually do i have cozy no we'll just order the caro caro snacks Want to order two more of those? They're cute. Ah. Oh. oh, I was supposed to change my outfit. I'm so bad. Baron already went to bed. I never changed my outfit. I'm a bad streamer. I'll change my outfit and I'll give Baron their points back. It's the only right thing to do.
Oh, there's actually a lot of... I forgot to empty my cash here. So I have to do Nikki's paint stream. Those are adorable. They just came out with the Sanrio stuff like last week. I don't remember the exact day, the 18th, 19th. I think it was the 18th. It's like five days ago. Let's wear like this, go like red blue, but not full on Mario mode. I'm gonna say, don't I have like a, must have used that pant. Of course, when you weren't playing. Um, yeah, you have to, you can only get them through the Sanrio cards, though, which is their, the kicker. They, they put them there. It's essentially paid DLC unless you go to a treasure island. I can send them to people, too, so you can order them from me and I'll send them to you. You just can't, unless you get the cards, you can't have them in your inventory as like an infinite supply thanks nintendo want like cute boots I feel like this hat this red tone in the hat's totally not matching up kind of thinking no red hat Maybe no hat. Kind of in a flower in the hair kind of mood today, to be honest. Why am I doing that? The hard way. Oh, I don't have a red flower. Of course I don't. Why would I, right? We'll wear the little red heart. How's that? Heart hairpin. Just gonna have to do. Alright, let's keep all these shells. I gotta start keeping shells. Kind of bird baths can we get? Hmm. I feel like natural is the best fit. Garden bench definitely needs to be blue. Thank you. Turkey Day garden stand. Sure. 
gray it is. Definitely strange. Mushroom lamp. Definitely blue. Marine is cute. That would look really cute on the lily pad table. I really, I'm, I'm trying to rack my brain figuring out where I can put that damn lily pad table outside. And now with that candle set on top of it, too cute. I'm just so short for space. Oh, let's put all this stuff back. For now. Dog keeps bringing me random things and looking at me. Like I found this. Can I have a treat? Aw. And you're saying no? <laughs> the will. The willpower you display. Staggering. How can you refuse the cuteness? We're getting a dog in... On the 18th. Oh shit, I'm not gonna be able to do rounded corners, am I? No. The 18th of April. Or 19th, I can't remember which day. One of those days. I am excited. I'm getting more excited, for sure. Katamatsu. You know what? This fence isn't working. I wish I could put... Oh, I guess I could. I could make little stepping stones to put over the sand here. 10-pound chihuahua mix. If you keep giving them to her, she'll get sick. True. They're that tiny. She's trying to work you. Things are a little disheveled here. Mush, mush. Don't know where you're going. Bird bath. This is going somewhere totally separate. Is the bird bath? Is that? I feel like I need to make the little bamboo stoppers. need like a tall there's only a mossy tall rock and like the double spire looking rock so many decisions Yes, I'm super excited for the pup. He's going to be so cute. I 
I guess a bird bath in his yard would be kind of nice. I feel like I could fit a tree. Couldn't I put a tree like right here? I think it would grow. Or I could put one right here. Do I have a sapling? Maybe I'll let his, let a, a tree grow three stages. I don't... We'll see if it grows here. Mini cedar. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of a cherry blossom tree up here. Because it's almost cherry blossom season. Put these gold roses over here. Oh, I forgot to grab bushes. I don't think I have any more blue hydrangeas or hydrangeas in general. But I definitely have some kind of bushes. Oh, I do have literally one blue hydrangea. Pink azaleas. White azaleas. Maybe a couple white azaleas. Got an $80 dog bed out of you one day at a fancy pet store. Still hasn't used it at home yet. All she did was want to lay in it at the store, so you bought it. Now she refuses. Diva. <laughs> Her heart. Hmm. Not there. Something else in his yard. Maybe a bird bath in Rold's yard. Oh, do you have do you have hydrangeas today? That would be perfect. Oh no. Nope. Hibiscus and camellia. Pumpkin starts. Cosmos and roses. No thanks. azaleas no just um hibiscus and camellias wait what 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 is there Is it because I... Oh, it's because I have something there? Yes. Okay, I was like, what the hell's going on there? The next one's to bloom. I think he mentioned camellias, but I honestly don't know. I was speeding through the text, so I didn't quite catch it. Oh, did I already fill up my day orders? Probably. I need another surfboard.
I did. I did. Would you like me to send you one? That would be great if you're playing right now. I'd appreciate it, but if you're not playing, you don't have to boot it up or anything. Oh, wait. Oh, why? I was going to put my mom's candle set on there. I wish we had a shepherd's hook. How cute would it be to have a shepherd's hook? We could put like hanging potted plants in. I would love that. Shepherd's hook would be like an amazing gardening touch. one would you like um oh man oh oh um the the blue the blackish green one it looks like a pearlescent kind of finish it's like a liquid kind of pearlescent look Okay, that is cute. Okay, I'm gonna make another one of those for sure. God, I wish there was a square one of those. That would make my day. Bamboo grass. Oh, thank you. Ooh, I'm gonna go check my mail right now. Well, I'll go inside, come back out, and then check my mail. I have a couple things to pick up out of there, I think. Mail call. Hey, Scooter. Or a mail call. Maybe a little bit of both. Why not both? Hmm? Oh, really? Really? You're going to do that to me, game? I feel like I should move. Well, no. I like having flowers right here. I think it's pretty. Don't run with balloons. <gasps> I know. Especially if you have the King Tut mask. Consider it gone forever. think of what's going to look good in the winter too because my ideal dream is in the winter 
Is it egg days? It's not quite egg days yet. I think Easter's in April this year, right? I think it's in April this year. Forget which day in April. I've never been a big Easter guy, you know? You hate <gasps> Zipper. Poor Zipper. He got so abused last year. Poor thing. I feel for him. Alright, check the mail. I mean, his event was insufferable, but you could tell how exhausted he was. Every time you look away, he's catching his breath and sighing deeply. It's true. It was definitely insufferable. I had ease. I had had enough by the end for sure. Oh, Alfred sent me like a thank you letter, I guess. Thank you so much for the crown today. It's time for a riddle. What did the cake say while cutting the onion? I am in tears from Sherb. Oh, oh my god, I almost reported your letter. He chased people. <laughs> I guess he did, didn't he? Aw, Alfred's so sweet sending me a thank you letter. Oh my god. Yeah, this, it definitely looks much better up here. Alright, so we can scatter some scooters around town. That was my original idea with these. Put the surfboard down by the beach. I need to make another DIY library. I was going to do that too. Some, uh, I have some electric kick scooters. Scooter, you want to be scattered around town? You want to be spread around town? Oh, I forgot I had these sham sodas. What is this? Sap? Oh, just plain saplings. You like to be one person and not scattered? Fair. Totally fair. I want to put something out in front of the Ables, too. I wonder how, like, a motherly statue would look out in front of there. Maybe I'll try that. Might be too big. Gonna make a couple more Turkey Day garden stands. Oh, I also need to customize them. Oh my gosh. Oh, I meant to get books for a DIY mini library. These, I want to make these too. So just bamboo pieces. Wish the cherry blossoms could be bought as saplings. I agree. Easily the prettiest tree in the game. Easily, far away, the absolute prettiest tree in the game. Do I have five calories? I do. Oh, bamboo. My god, I keep... It's like... It's so hard to keep track of what you need at any given point. My needs keep changing by the second. 
the struggle. All right, I want to make maybe two of these. I kind of want to make one of these clam lamps, too. Can make cube illusions using the umbrella. Can make cage, food crates, or lanterns using the umbrella. Oh, like laying the umbrella on the ground at a certain angle. Excuse me, a certain angle. With a certain design on it. I think I needed four of these. Yeah. Interesting. I was trying to think of something because I want to make signs for all of my themed buildings. But I was trying to think of something to put in front of the bottom part of the sign that isn't just a barrel. I was having a hard time of thinking of anything. You were motivated to work on your island yesterday and then now it's a complete opposite it, yeah it's like sometimes i'm like ready and rearing to go and then i sit down and stream and i'm like what was i even gonna do i don't remember yeah it's just like it just gets zapped away You know, I could put like one of these in Boris's yard. This is so pretty. <clears throat> Julian and Boris both have the astrology stuff. Can you put this on doors? Can you put this on a door? Or is it just for indoor walls? It's probably just for indoor walls. I think you'll work on your island again once you get Sanrio Amiibo. Yeah, that's fair. Because if there's so many cute items, it's like, why even bother putting placeholders down for them if you're just going to go and replace it like two weeks later? Just wall? Just like a fence? Where are the turkey day stands? I swear, when I start looking through this, I just, like, I go blind. I go absolutely blind. Oh, just, oh, gotcha, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Turkey Day, where are you? Turkey Day. You're close. Okay, here you are. Oh, I need clay, too. Damn it. Oh, I would love to put the Leo thing on a front door. I know it's big, but... It'd be so pretty. Put the New Year's thing that I had that you liked. Let me check Discord. I've already forgotten. My horrid, wretched memory. All right, that should be enough of those to work with. Lunar New Year decoration. Oh yeah. Who 
Whose house could that go on? Maybe my husband's? Ah, oh, there's purple ones. I guess that actually works better for Flo's yard. One of those with like a little purple flower on top of it would be cute. Maybe an iridescent one for Julian's yard since it's by the beach now would be kind of cute. Bamboo, these need to be dark brown, smoke cured. Hyacinth plant. I was thinking of that. Proportions might be a little wonky, but it's worth trying definitely worth trying. I definitely have plenty of hyacinths to go pluck to make that super quick. I wish you could put like more than just one in one of the little mini vases, like a tiny little mini bouquet. You could like combine those into a, a little bouquet and put them in a pot. Would be so freaking cute. There's so many things I want. Everything. Alright, thank you for the surfboard. Let's go put that down. We'll put these little bamboo stop blocks down. I like that these are only a half square, or half mini rectangle. Helps with dimension. Um, Turkey Day Garden Stand. Here, we'll go put, pluck some of these to make a lamp. Whoops. I really should just stuff a table outside again. Or I should just keep it in my pockets is what I should do. Where'd you go? There you are. Game brings out the indecisiveness in you. There's just... It's like simultaneously there's a bunch of nuance and yet it's all surface level. It's just hard to like pin things down in this game. It's like the generalization is a blessing and a curse because there's so little you can do with it that it's it feels harder to figure out the best way to utilize things for me anyway i don't know if that even makes sense but for me it makes sense Yeah, there, you definitely have to, like, take what you have in your head and knock it down a couple notches to match the detail level of the game. 
Because I, I feel the same way. Like, I want to make this really beautiful park with all this stuff. And then it's like, okay, my park is a bench, a water fountain, and a jungle gym. You know? You have to, like, scale it back. Always. I'm always finding myself having to scale things back. Where is my purple shell stool? Where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. It's this one. No, you better be able to go on the damn shell. Are you kidding me? Go on the shell. It can't go on the fucking shell. Question. What can go on the shell? Can anything go on the damn shell? Sometimes you end up comparing your decorating skills to others and you feel like you're not as good. <clears throat> Excuse me. This game definitely requires you to be extremely resourceful and clever. And I do feel like my design sense is not that. <clears throat> In general, my design sense is a little maximalist. So it's hard for me to, to reel it in. Where's the motherly statue? There's a mushroom log and the mushroom can be purple. I, I wish it looked more like a stump. I think I don't like that because it doesn't look... It, it doesn't... It looks like... A log and not a stump. There's your little shamrock shake. Enjoy, babes. Here. Okay, it's on both sides. I was like, oh, maybe the shamrock's not on the back. Nope. Can't hide that. Reminds me of your comment on how the game feels more social media oriented. Yeah, for sure. There's just certain contexts where an idea 100% does not translate. She will not take it off. She's been in that muscle shirt for like a week now. I'm going to have to kick her and get an Agent S that is not into muscles because that's not me. All right, how do these electric scooters look? in these parking spaces. Not great. Isn't she a jock? No, she's a, um, peppy. She's peppy. We'll put one there. Somebody rudely left it there. We should be able to have girl jocks, though. I feel. I want my girl jocks, girl crankies. He's a masculine peppy. Fair. Oh yeah, I was gonna make a scarecrow. All right, a couple more scooters spaced about. We got one in front of the community center. I could put one maybe here in front of the school. This area is really empty. 
honestly don't have a use for anything over here, to be honest. Like Marty should be male peppy. Yes. Marty is cute. Oh yeah, I forgot to put forgot to repave this after moving houses. Whoops. Shows how much I'm down here. Um, okay, I guess I'll do that now. This was literally the only spot in my entire town I could fit a house without having to rearrange things. Except for maybe the beach part right below, like right here. Maybe it would have fit, probably. Wait, did it take a piece of fence away? We'll just do that. Hey, Baychella. Uh, my stream's going very well. The stream is going well. I'm just doing some light island redecoration. My island exterior has been very static for months and months. Um, I finally finished all my building interiors, so now it's time to really start putting some of the finishing polish on the exterior. And I'm feeling good about it. It's been a long journey, but... I had a feeling we'd be about this close to the end, about a year in, you know? Any particular theme you're going for? My town is kind of a more robust city theme. Um, it's not like super urban with like alleyways and this and that. It's kind of like a arts district town theme. So I have like these roads that I made with their little lines. A little bit of customization there. I have... A bunch of themed buildings here on the southern part of my island, which is like the commercial district. We have an art school, which was over there, community center, um, a restaurant and cafe exterior. I have a little mall right here. An art gallery here. Got a little bus stop there. We got the Abel's. Um, and the resident services. This is like a little apartment building with m like NPC apartments in there. Oh, I'm a builder. Yes. Um, I have a little drive through gas station right here, a little convenience store area. We've got a giant uh, school building since it's like an art school, arts district kind of vibe. Um, our museum is right here. Another bus stop on the far end of this area. And then I have my cranny and my little nook. Well, I call it Indigo Mart. So this is like our little um, grocery store. So this is the commercial district. And then the top half is the neighborhood. So the top half is where all the houses are. Um, I have like a little residential park area here with a fountain and some benches the campsites up here so it's like the one rustic part of town with the lighthouse up there in the top corner and this is kind of like a little woodsy area with a well 
and a water pump and a little bath for the campers. So this is like their little camp suite. Hey, Minnie. Um, but yeah, there's so this is residential. I have all their little houses and like little clusters. This is like my little cul-de-sac area, the couple of yards and houses in here. This little pathway will lead you to the uh, Reds Beach area. And then we have another little house here, part of the neighborhood. And then the last neighborhood cluster is over here. So I have like this little sidewalk walkway park area with a little seating bench area. I want to put something else over here, but I'm just not sure what. Hey, Aspen. So jealous we've had this game for the same amount of time and you have an almost entirely fleshed out island where you only just decided a theme. See, I had this theme in mind before I ever owned the game and I've just kind of did my best to use what the confines of the game assets to fit my theme. Like I wish, like I was thinking in New Leaf because you could have like a more modern, glassy, boxy exterior that all of these buildings that are down here would essentially be that more modernized kind of commercial look. But all they gave us was like house with pointy roof and shingles. Sherb is thinking. Yeah, Sherb can think his little heart out. I'm not talking to him. I ignore my villagers. I'm a bad. I'm a bad friend. <laughs> you didn't know you could build other buildings? Yes. So you just have to have um, a Nintendo Switch account for each building that you want to build. Just create a new Switch account and then open the game with that new account and it'll start a new human character. Like this one. Yep. That's exactly what I was thinking. So a lot of my commercial buildings were going to look like that. So like the community center, the restaurant. And I, my original theme was going to be like, have them all side by side, like a main street, kind of like the New Leaf main street was. Um, but I just ended up spacing them out more and stuff like that. Even though they're all kind of on the Southern street. can't move the location resident services yeah that is kind of a bummer and you can't change the color of your airport <laughs> yours is in a not great location i guess i got kind of lucky mine's like not right up against the airport it's actually kind of i guess it's kind of far it's like kind of smack dab in the middle of my commercial district which really works I do wish you could change the um, tiling in front of it. Like, I don't like the red brick kind of vibe of that. I wish I could just have gray stone or if I could retile it myself. I would prefer that, but I've learned to live with it, I guess, you know. Not my favorite, though. But yeah, my airport is orange. Which is a bummer. <clears throat> what are you going to do? Uh, let's put a electric scooter right here. Oh, wait, that's the surfboard. You kind of like the orange airport, but it needs to be blue. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not the worst thing. It's not enough to make me want to like explode my entire island, but it does bum me out. Don't I have one more scooter? Yes. Is orange bad? Um, it just doesn't fit my theme. It's not that it's, I mean, it, it could work. It's just, I wish it was blue. Since I know there's a blue airport in the game, I'm just kind of bummed about it, you know? We'll do that. Scooters scattered. 
Uh, we got so much junk. Why do I have all this junk? Let's get rid of the junk. I need to go to another day, I think, and order more stuff. Oh, and the flower. Maybe you demolish everything and make an orange colored island. <laughs> I'm all in. I've been all in on this theme since the very beginning, since before that I had the game in my hands. There's no turning back. Oh, excuse me. So I really can't put anything on top of the shell stool. Let me pluck this and see if I can. Hey, go on top of there. Oh my god, so this thing's basically worthless. I thought you could put things on top of it. Ugh, that's so annoying to me. Hey, Mr. Fab. I hate this for me. What? Oh, my, why the hell would I want to put it there? Hey, Will. I want to put a hyacinth lamp on it. Makes me want to cry. Have you got any of the new characters yet? I moved in four of them before um, J Props came in and told me I could just scan them all in at the um, at uh, Harv's and get all of their furniture. But yeah, I moved four of them in, and then I did Rilla and Toby scanned in at Harv's cabin. Use another purple item to put the lamp on. Yeah, I guess this could just be like a little mini accent. Maybe it goes here. I like the rounder looking side more. We'll just think of it as like a little cute purple rock. Like a little gemstone in her yard. Um... Oh, I want to find a new place for her lily. Maybe I'll put the lily of the valley right here in front of it. What? No one told you to go there? Oh, I guess because I have a invisible block there. The Hello, I Hello Kitty items are so cute. Not all of them have a ton of utility. But honestly, a lot of them have a lot of great use to them. Like a lot of great, I don't know, I feel like they're great mix and match options. Is there another purple item that I could do? Oh wait, no, we were going to put the other iridescent shell lamp, or shell in Julian's yard. They're good for camping out the island. Purple Nova Light. Purple Nova Light would work. Maybe there's a purple mushroom. I just feel like the mushrooms are really cute. The little mushroom stools I love. The mushroom lamps. I just don't want to do... I'll end up doing every yard with that. Which I kind of want to avoid. Because it's, it's so easy, you know? Like... 
Sherb would have a bush here. Penguin colony at the beach. Oh, I must have put the bushes away. I don't know. Pengu though, I have seen the little shirts done as penguins, and it is really, really cute. Ice pillar is purple. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just so conflicted on that because it's so kind of towering and basic. All right, I need to start getting simple panels to put out in front of some of these houses. Maybe I should. I'm gonna have to skip days. I love the ice pillars, but Put a penguin colony beside the beach at your castle. Floor lights. I guess I... I wish you could put these on top of objects, too. Like, it would be really neat if you could put the floor lights on tables. Maybe if I put them behind. Oh, no. Oh, that is interesting that it can go there, though. What? You just, you just went there though. Oh yeah, my surfboard. Could put a scorpion lamp on top of the pillars. That might actually work. I, have, I guess I could try it. Turkey day. All right. So. Couple more of these garden stands. Maybe the garden stands will cover up the signage pretty well that I put in front of these houses. Wait, did I not customize these? I think I did. I think I forgot to. Oh no, maybe I did. No. No, those are different colors. Whoops. Oh, that one's gray. I guess I customized one. Oops. Only one of them I did. This is a laundromat. What could I put in front of a laundromat? Clothesline? Yes. I feel like her yard should be a parking lot too, but... I've gone, I've done so many small little parking lots. I feel like I should chill. A washing basket. Great suggestions. All right. 
So we gotta customize all these. A water pump. Ooh, a water pump for sure. I guess I can craft all this stuff, right? Do I have a parking lot addiction? I may. I may. Cotton candy stand. How would that work? Candy machine. Oh, like a... Um... Hopkins' place is an arcade. That could do like... I wish there was a dumpster. I know that's like a weird... Like, oh, I wish there was a dumpster in this game. But I totally wish there was a dumpster. <laughs> Give me a dumpster. Uh, we'll just pull a bunch of crafting materials. The usual. Time to craft more random shit. See if it works. Oh, the clothesline is probably going to require, like, the most basic of materials. Isn't there one I can order that's not made out of sticks, though? I think there is. I want to make this for the pumpkin patch. Where are the weeds? Bag of weeds. Is he customizable? No. Like a wash basin, maybe, outside of the laundromat? Like a utility sink, maybe? I wonder, how does a, um, how does a pipe wand look if you just put it outside? Does it stand straight up? Or does it sit at, like, an angle? Probably sits at an angle. We're gonna make another one of these guys. Maybe we can put one of them somewhere. is going to go in my husband's zen garden. I think I have one of those in inventory. Ooh, I should get a gong. Gonna try out the Kara Karapi screen. Where could I put that though? Oh, I need star fragments. I do wanna use that, I just don't know where I would put it. I think that would be cute. Where would it be cute? Like in front of my supermarket, maybe? But those stalls match the color so well. Like I should make a lucky cat. Oh, I keep meaning to make one of these. Three books and some wood. I 
I have two books. Damn it. <laughs> no wonder I never made it. Ugh. Can I... I can customize these. Purple kimono stand. I'm thinking the clothes rack, actually. Instead of the clothes line, that clothes rack that you can put put things on. It's kind of trashy looking outside, but I mean, whatever. All right, I want to make this Aquarius, Star, and Gold. I'm going to have to order one. Gold. Aquarius. Purple kimono stand might look pretty. I'm looking for stuff that looks kind of slightly industrial, I think, for the laundromat. I do get the feeling that, oh my god, Nikki, thank you for the resub, Nikki, two months, very much appreciated, and thank you for the smoke-free encouragement, we are one day away from eight months, I'm gonna make one of each of these, Libra and Pisces, thank you, thank you for the encouragement, always, Pisces, Libra. We'll see if these look good in front of Julian and um, Boris's house. Oh, my pockets are too full. Too many crafting materials. I guess we're done with fences for now. Are you a Pisces? I am not. I am a Taurus. I am but a Taurus. Now that I've said it, can you tell? Oh, I used all my star fragments. So I want to make a scorpion, a Libra scale. This would be pretty to put somewhere around town. Maybe this would look really pretty in front of the museum. And then I could move. I wish this looked prettier. I think I have one of these in storage too. Pull out some more star bits. Even if it's not yours, which sign do you think got the nicest astrology item? Um, I think the prettiest astrology item is the cancer table. Or no, the urn. The Aquarius urn actually is the prettiest. It seems like the most classic to me. The um, the Leo statue is really cool too. Okay, what did I not? I did Aquarius. I should make another Aquarius urn, honestly. Oh, you know what? We'll just pull a little bit of everything. I don't know what I need. How's the husband? He is good. We are getting a puppy in a little under a month. And he is absolutely over beside himself with excitement. I am excited, but I'm not as excited as he, as he is. Because it's hard for me to get excited about something that hasn't happened yet. Or is like still seemingly so far away. So I'm kind of like mildly excited, but I'm sure I'll I'll be way more excited when she's here. What kind of puppy? We are getting a Shih Tzu. 
He's a little baby Shih Tzu. Oh wait, did I need clay? I think I needed clay. It was all his choice. I said, you tell, you get whatever you want. Like Isabel and Digby, yep. I am excited. I just, I temper my excitement because I try not to like get ahead of myself. I'm always much more of a cautious person like that, I guess. But I am excited. Oh, I needed stone. I put stone away. Or I ran out or something. I think I'll make two of these. The thing with these is they don't... They don't truly fit the theme of my island, like the gold. Are you going to show? Oh, I'm sure I'll show the puppy on stream. I'll probably wait a little bit until she's like. Oh, my God. What have I? I can't even remember what I've made so far. I'm going to wait until she's a little trained. I'm sure See, the thing is she's going to be in a cage on like the other side of the room or beside me. So she'll probably get a little whiny at points during the stream and I'll have to like pick her up and play with her, or take her out a couple times during the stream because she's going to be two months old when we get her. Puppy cam, puppy cam. I'm at some point there will be a puppy cam when she's like mellow. I have a little set up for her. All right, I want to make a Libra scale. Oh, I need more gold. That's why none of them are showing up. But yeah, I'll definitely show her on stream. Without a doubt. Oh my god, I have too much shit in my pockets. I'm stressed. Oh, I never customized these. You know what? These just need to go in storage right now. Get out of my way. I gotta figure out what I have. I can't remember. All right, cancer table, Aquarius urn, the way, Icy's lamp, another cancer table, a gong out of the way, garden rock and water pump. Okay, so these I still wanna use outside for sure. So, Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer. Libra scale, sure. Pisces lamp, we made it. Oh, I need to get Scorpio bits. Scorpius bits, excuse me. Capricorn ornament. Gemini closet, Harry's rocking chair. So I need to make, I guess I could try to find a place for a Virgo harp. I feel like she would fit over by my like starry moon area. Honestly, most of this stuff would make a, we'll go ahead and make this. This goes on the wall, doesn't it? So does this. So there, I don't really need to make those. I don't want to make another one of these. All right, so I need a few more star bits. I think I can put all these away. Don't need the Leo. 
Don't need that. Done with that. Finished with that. Basically, I'm finished with all of these. Aries, we are, I think I already have an Aries rocker. So I need the two that I didn't use yet. Virgo and... We're not going to do Taurus either. Scorpius. Oh, and more yellows. Guess I'll make two of these. You want a little sausage dog? What's the proper name of the the wiener dog? Oh, what do I need? More stone. Using a lot of materials for things I probably won't put out. But it's nice to have them. What I should go do is make sure I've crafted one of everything. So that way I can use it at Harv's Cabin. Auction, yeah. That's right. Okay. Just call them Sausage Dog. Bear. They are cute. My husband's a stylist, so I'm sure... I don't think he's going to do all the grooming for her, but he's going to be really into styling her and making her look absolutely precious beyond compare. I just know it. He's going to be styling. All right, we'll see what we can do with this stuff that I built. And then I can get my garden stands back out. Customize those. Where are you? There you are. Did I put anything else up? Oh, I have some of these already. I should just put these out as placeholders. Okay, um, I put items in the frozen chair. I wonder. So many construction signs. I don't know why I got so many of those. I guess I wanted extras of each style just in case, but doubtful I'll ever use them. I should turn some of these into blue. How many rainbow feathers do I have? I have a pretty decent amount. wonder how many I'll see I'll come back to this all right I need hopefully this is the last time I need to come back into this screen before I switch days customize these all to gray oh these all are hey grit All right, I'm going to redo these signs, so maybe I'll just make each one of these a sign right now. And then I'll just make sure I put the corresponding sign at the corresponding building when I redo the pixel art for these. You just noticed the date on your Switch and it reminded me that the actual 
24th is your niece's birthday. Ooh. Did you get her something special? Can't wait to get back to the gym. I would say I can't wait, but it's like a mixed bag. I want to go back, but I know when I go back, I'll be like, oh, why did I want this? But I am kind of like mentally ready to try it again, you know? Which is the hard, that's like the hardest part. Oh, she's going to be 17. Honestly, you're suddenly not handling any of this well. <laughs> you have seven nieces and nephews, and unfortunately, you keep the bar low. Hey, I mean, at that age, they're, they could, you know, they're not bothered. Oh, I can customize the gong? Oh, I can just make a red one. Oh, I could customize- I didn't know I could customize the water pump. Uh, if we're going for the laundromat, I think silver. Maybe I'll also 3D print her something. Nice. You have access to a 3D printer? That's pretty sick. Oh, purple's the best on that. All right, these all need to be gray. Oh, you have two of them? Oh, hell yeah. Steve and his gadgets. That's cool. Yeah, my gadgets are all like streaming equipment and video game art stuff. Things related to that. I got a light table, but I've kind of been thinking about just getting like a projector. That can like project things, do larger scale trace work. You'd like a 3D printer, but not sure what you'd do if you got one. Same. It's like one of those things you're like, oh my god, that would be so cool to have. And then you use it like twice a year. Alright. Pretty sure I got a mossy garden rock, so let's put that. You just gotta find it somewhere in this mess of stuff that I made. Doesn't look good. Print all the things. God, I wish you could do the mossy garden rock not mossy. It's extremely phallic. I feel like that doesn't make sense displaying sideways. You don't get the good visual effect, as is with most things in this game. I want to see how this looks. Okay, it is at a bit of an angle, but it does kind of look like it'll look like it's coming out of the ground, which is kind of what I want. I want to put that on the side of the laundromat building. We printed mounts for your lights. Steve printed parts for one of the lawnmowers. Lost your aim card holder thing. We printed one. 
made face masks when the pandemic first started, printed little goats that we randomly handed out or left in, at businesses. Cute. Thingiverse. That's awesome. Oh, SIM card. I'm thinking like that. So each business would have a sign out in front of it like that. It doesn't it doesn't really block though. So I gotta have to dig up this flower. Yeah, it's the same leaf. I haven't changed days. Just gonna take eight eight or more hours oh my god i mean i guess if it's trying to do things down to like precise measurements it makes total sense you need to start visiting islands and getting ideas there's so much to see it's an endless world out there it truly is Is the Scorpius lamp? Scorpio lamp. Scorpius bits. I'm gonna change your house exterior to a more spring look. That would be cute. Various urn. All right, so I wanted, I was thinking the water pump, like right beside the water. Or I was thinking, like, this iron wand. Oop. Put away. I would put the iron wand on the side of the building here so it looks like a little... thing. Coming out. Kind of haphazardly. Just a little pipe coming out of the ground. Maybe the water pump. I'm gonna definitely get rid of these flowers. Still have winter stuff on your island. It's so hard. I can I can barely focus. So I'm just working on like a final push to to the end without any any um seasonal decoration. I kind of feel like this should be another little parking lot. It's probably ridiculous of me. I 
Gotta go. Good night, Mr. Fab. Take it easy. Your name reminds me of this guy that used to go to club here, down here in the 80s. Danced his heart out. <laughs> Every time you hear the song, I need a hero. Nice. Finally have two stars. <gasps> Yay! You're so close. That's really close. You'll have a full three stars in no time. Just keep tossing down more flowers, trees, fences, and furniture. Yo, hey, Drac. Let's see. I don't think I'll put any cars in this parking lot, but. So I think I am going to try a really weird theme for my next island. I want to do like a glitchy island. I was going to do like ancient ruins, but I just don't know if there's enough stuff to pull off that kind of theme. So I'm thinking glitchy, which means I could just go really, it could just go like straight up surrealist to bizarre. May go make a sandwich. Nice. Minus the whole bread thing. Sandwiches are deceiving because you're like, I'm eating healthy, but it, it's got bread. I mean, bread's not inherently unhealthy, but... Huh, so that's not really working for me. Fake bread is bad, real bread is good. Fair. I know, like, sandwich white bread. That's why the sandwiches that I make at home are just so, like, blah. Every time. We need That's carbs. Carbs are your best friends. Carbs are tasty. Classic PB and J. I'm not gonna lie, I had some PB and J last night. Not even gonna lie, shit was good. Strawberry jam. Can't get enough. You want sourdough? Sourdough with manwich. Oh, manwich. All right, that is a better looking. These three spots are homogeneously sized. They're all good. They work. I haven't had manwich in... Oh my god, I don't even know. I feel like I could make a cute little road piece that's like a little crosswalk, like a, put it like here. Might do that real quick. Now that I have extra design slots and stuff. 
kind of want to, I would take, going to make that sandwich. Enjoy. I would take this. Oh, pass. I would copy this. All right, so I'm thinking it's like a little, it just denotes that there's like an entry to a walkway. So that's all I'm thinking is it's just like this extra little flourish that I can add in in front of certain areas. I was gonna say these don't look matched up. That's because that's like that. would be black. I think that's good. I just want to see how this looks. I don't know if this is the fully realized idea necessarily. Fine, whatever. Name doesn't matter. Oh, there's no transparency. doing now the anniversary's passed you have zero clue what the next update could be i think they'll probably just do seasonal updates with a handful of new furniture like they did for this year or last year so like um what did they do a summer update so they'll probably do like some summer items a handful of those because we're only getting like six new easter items this year right instead of like a ton like we did last year. Yeah, so something just like that. That would go here. Did I do that in front of the supermarket?
Yeah, I can always finesse that later. Oh, right here. Mm, no. If I did that, I have to make one that's like middle piece, central piece, or middle piece, left piece, right piece. I'm tempted, but I don't think that I will. move this mailbox give it like a bigger style mailbox I guess I had all this stuff in my pockets oh my god I'm so indecisive Capricorn ornament Maybe that would look better in front of Abel's than the motherly statue. The scarecrow. the clothing rack will go right here kind of like this little pipe instead of the water pump I should put a water pump nearby maybe I should put a water pump like right here wanted to go over one more. I'm gonna reshape this lake just a smidge. Oh my god, buddy. Oh, that wasn't that cute. Get the hell out of my way. I'm busy. Maybe he'll just have a little cancer table with like a plucked golden rose on it. I could give him a golden rose in his yard. I feel like that suits him a little better. Not blue, but I think for Boris, we might be able to make an exception. No. 
Too picky. I'm too picky for that. What about the scale? Oh, that's tiny. Oh, that's cute. Oh. I thought that was, like, going to be this big, giant kind of sculptural moment. Dock. Yeah, I put that dock in there. That dock I made myself. I made the little wood pattern and put it on top of some grass. So yes, yes you can. Absolutely. You know what? I'm gonna go put these flowers in that little cedar area there. Hop across. Hop across. There we go. Make me call rescue services, please. So finicky. Just let me hop. It's so easy to do it one direction and like impossible for me to do it the other direction. You know what I should do? I should just make this jut out one more square, make it easier. It's like just far enough you have to be in like some super perfect little pixel area to make it work and that's a big annoying hell no Ooh, there's some weeds up here you have no idea how you're really gonna get your houses set up that's why you've held off on adding new friends you don't know where to put their houses. It won't let you. I don't think you can get to three stars until you have ten animals. I think that's one of the requirements. It's to have ten animals in your town. Unfortunately. My suggestion is just um, throw them on the beach for now. Put them on the beach. And then when they're in your town. You can start to uh, cluster them and. What I did, Egret, is once you get the terraforming tool, you can put in, like, dirt plots. So what I did is, like, where I would decide their houses were going to go, I would put in, like, a dark dirt rectangle. And I would do, like, all of the pathing around that and, like, put fences in for the yards. Yeah, you can build on the beach. You can put houses on the beach. A lot of people will move their everything they can to the beach so that they can um, figure out where they're going to put it once they start putting in paths. You can also, if you want to put in paths like a rough and dirty way, you can basically just make a quick path thing like this, and then you can just put display on ground, and then that'll help you go ahead and lay out your paths. But the problem with that is once you get path making, you have to go and clean all that up, which takes forever forever way too long you have to like go back and replace it all so you got to kick it up 
and then replace it. So it's extremely time consuming to do it that way. But yeah, you can just like, you could use solid colors and you could just say, okay, the animal houses are three by four. So then you can do like a three by four lime green spot is where you're going to put a house and then your paths can be black and then you can go back and revamp it all once you get to three stars and get terraforming. pressure to make a nice island is a bit much the thing is it's like you just gotta um understand that it's gonna take a long time like don't put pressure on yourself to get it all done quickly this has taken me literally a year of time traveling so it's a uh, it's a very very slow moving moving process even if you're time traveling so it doesn't really alter that much if you're time traveling or not. I mean, you can get a lot more done time traveling than you can not time traveling. Like ordering things and placing things and grinding out materials if you need the materials. And it all depends on what kind of vibe you want to cultivate. Some islands are like, if you want to go with something more like country, rustic, um, cottage core, or whatever, that's going to be easier to pull off for sure. But yeah, if you mess up or change your mind, you can basically every, everything is changeable. So like if I wanted to rip out this whole graveyard and, and put a bunch of houses up there, I'd have to pay for it, but it is totally changeable, 100%. Oh, wait. I was putting that stuff in front of Sherb's house. I was like, this isn't Boris's house. This is Sherb's house. Whoops. rip up this entire graveyard. I would actually never rip up my graveyard because it's got all of my original babies in it. It must stay. But, for example, <laughs> didn't even think of that till you said that. Say you wanted to, you know, rip up this burial ground. Turn your town into poltergeist. Definitely like the slower pace in coming to talk. Thank you, Agret. They like this yard, actually, I can probably put. Maybe. No, the Gemini closet just doesn't seem like an outdoor item to me. Maybe he would really like this cute balloon in his yard that I pulled up from the restaurant. Horror core. I, there was a streamer joshing Joshua made an island that was based around horror movie motifs. So he had like little motifs based around like Scream and Halloween and other horror movies. It was really cute and an amazing looking island. Yeah, there's like islands where they'll do blood trails leading to wells. It's you can do all kinds of stuff. I'm thinking my next island, I want to be glitchy. So I'm going to go for this like surrealist landscape vibe. So I'll have like. Um, my land is going to be very like. Broken up pixels and. Water coming out of weird spots and. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of different things that I can do. You're not into horror, but that's amazing. It, his island is really, really neat. I'm not the biggest horror buff either, but his island is honestly very impressive.
Well, you have to have... No, you can't make more than one island on the same Switch. You have to have an additional Switch and copy of the game. Nope, Nintendo made sure that no one would be able to be so lucky. They knew the Animal Crossing fan base, if they wanted a second island, would totally buy a second Switch and second copy of the game. Case in point, this guy. They're greedy and shameless, truly. I'll call them out on it. I don't give a fuck. They don't sponsor me. All right, I need to go pluck a gold rose real quick. Sharky's on the fence about Animal Crossing, but you may get the game for him so you can have a redo in Storage Island. Not a bad idea. You already have a second Switch. I don't imagine this game's going to go on sale for at least another year. I think there's still too many people buying it new. Oh wait, damn it. Yeah, I think I like that more than the scales on there. Buy another game, full price if Sharky agreed to let me do what I want. <laughs> I'm sure you could tweak things here and there. He'd never know. Right. Or that, is that wishful thinking on my part? I really want that piece to work somewhere, but I'm just not feeling it. Anyone else getting Pokemon Snap? Uh, I never played the original Pokemon Snap, so I don't really have like an emotional connection to the game, which I feel like the game looks so shallow that you would need an emotional connection to the game in order to probably enjoy it. putting astrology stuff in front of people's houses and I'm like mm, actually no it's about taking pics of Pokemon which sounds mundane I wish it wasn't on rails like the old one was I feel like they had the they have the ability to not put the game on rails and they decided to anyway which I find disappointing What does that mean? That means it's, um, instead of being able to free roam an environment, you're placed in like a cart, like a amusement park ride and you can't leave the cart. So you can take pictures, but you're limited to only where the game takes you. So it's just like, a, a you know, a train, a safari ride in an amusement park where you're just like moving through and looking around and snapping the pic the pics which i mean for the nintendo 64 it made sense because of the limitations of the hardware and I, you know i don't know how many environments they're gonna have so i could be you know the environments could be really detailed and lush and the the 
the rides, so to speak, could be really long and super in-depth and entertaining, but I just don't know what kind of replayability that has. Yeah, it's a small world. You just, you don't have any ability to explore. Which I feel like for a game like Pokemon Snap, a, a game of photography, having the ability to explore the world would be, was, would be what really sets it apart. But instead, it's just an amusement park ride with Pokemon and a camera. Two of the astrology lamps in the two bottom corners of the square with the statue would look good. I like her up there. Two astrology lamps. In the square. The square with the statue. I think I might have left that area, so I'm not even near it to understand. Hmm, should I have moved her out one more square? I think so. I think I should have moved her out to the edge. No, I can't fit something else up there because there's no... That's just a corner piece. Gotta take up the star bit, though. Scorpio lamp might look pretty up there. Come on. Work with me. Don't make me... Don't make me. It's gonna make me. I'm going to put this raccoon figurine inside here behind the counter. 
Libra scale. Kind of feel like that would work better here. Oh, Julian loves his new water pump. Bottom corners of the square. Oh, you mean here? Oh, I think I think I get that. You might be right. That is cute. Thank you. Good suggestion. All right, let's put his little gold rose. I think I might go pick a gold rose and put two gold roses behind this. Put another bush. She could use maybe, maybe I should put the hyacinth lamp blue on top of like a little stool or something for her. I'm going to go put the rest of this stuff in storage. I'm having a hard time like getting any vibes from any of this. So we'll pick this up because we don't really need this here. Blue Bear's bar yard needs a little bit of a revamp anyway. both of these and put those in Francine's yard right away after some customizing the mini closet storage keeping you we're gonna keep this uh, I thought I could fit that somewhere I don't think so I don't think I can fit another one of those I don't really have a place for that this is going to go in front of the laundromat. For now, I can't find a place for this, but probably later. All right, I should probably wrap up here in a minute. Uh, customize. Oh, wait, I already did this. This is fine. flows moving out. You remember you told me something about a vacant house. Keep it on the same day until you find a new villager. You visit Mystery Island tours or how do I get new potential applicants? Yeah, you go. You can go on Mystery Islands or if someone has a villager that's in boxes moving out of their island, you can go recruit them from that person's island. But it's easier to just go on Mystery Island tours with the Nook Miles tickets. For sure.
What is Flo's house? It's like a light blue, isn't it? I think the white actually would be cuter. But yeah, you if you want to go on island tours, you just keep it set to the same day. So you can go on island tours from 5.01 a.m. one day all the way to 4.59 p.m. the next day. And then, or 4.59 a.m., excuse me. And then before it reaches 5 a.m. the next day, you just set it back to 5.01 the previous day. And you can stay on that day indefinitely. And they'll always be, their plot will never sell. So you have until 5.01 a.m. Let's so if it's today, March 23rd, you would want to look between 5.01 a.m. on the 23rd all the way up to 4.59 a.m. on the 24th. So if it goes past 5 a.m. on the 24th, then that plot will be filled with a random villager from someone's island moving out. Um, so you just want to make sure it never goes beyond 4.59 a.m. the next day, because the day cycles start at 5 a.m. for East Coast. I think it's that way for everyone, right? I don't know. Okay, this was gonna go in front of the laundromat. can't move that over anymore that is so dumb there we go so the last day you played was saturday and she's moving on sunday so her pot will be available starting monday yes so Saturday, she said she's moving. Sunday, she'll be in boxes, which means she will be gone the next day. And then Monday, her plot will be empty, but it won't say sold. And then Tuesday, it'll be empty and there will be a sold sticker on it. So you want to keep it on Monday. Whatever day, whatever date, Saturday, she was in boxes. So then Sunday. So if you haven't, if you have not launched the game since Saturday, just before you launch the game, go to Sunday. And just make sure you never open up the game in any other day except Sunday, and you should be good. Because I don't think the game will update internals until you've launched the game itself. Yeah, and then just tons of island tours. As many island tours as you can use for Nook Miles. I can give you some tickets. Saturday announcement said she's moving tomorrow. Yeah, if she as long as she if she was in boxes Saturday, then you just keep it on Sunday. If she said she was moving and then was in boxes on Sunday, then you would leave it on Monday. You liked Gala, but Itwa has been amazing. Cutie. All right, I guess this will go in front of Sherb's house. You have a few tickets? Well, I have plenty and I can go to a treasure island and get you basically an endless amount.
I want to get a gold. Which which is the fish that spawns inside of one of these pots? I want to get one of those. I feel like the floating biotope planter in front of a house looks better just on the ground. Feels like there's no need for a garden stand. the goldfish. It's either the goldfish or the koi. I think the koi is too big. Alright, I've dealt with my pockets. After all of this time, I need to go pluck another golden rose from somewhere. I guess there's a couple on the beach here. I'll let Haley take two of the ones that, up here that were just extras. Definitely goldfish and pop-eyed goldfish. Oh, Haley wanted more. I said, I'm sorry, Haley. <laughs> just two today. Um... You are thinking a lot today, Miss Agent. Hey, Gret. Was that you that hosted? For some reason, hosts don't show up in my damn activity feed. Oh, it was Jade. Jade, thank you. I, can, I never read those in time. I think I keep my fonts too small. And I have bad vision. Thank you for the host, Jade. <laughs> Time for sleeps. Yeah, I should wrap up somewhat soon here. I do want to skip to the next day real quick. I want to make this workbench blue as well. Whoops. Hope you get some good rest. been a great night. Been chill. Why did I go to craft? I don't know. Got it in the living room. Baby's so close to falling asleep. <gasps> oh. I'm going to mail you 20 tickets. Um, I'll do that now. What is something I could just put on the table? Right out here. You're welcome. We'll put this little blue coffee cup that Lucy gave me. My personal assistant from last stream, Lucy. Oh my god, Igret! No! Oh my god! A thousand bits, holy shit. Not expected, thank you. I am shook. Well, now I'm going to have to mail you 40 tickets. 20 now and 20 after I uh, time travel here in a second. Because <laughs> I don't need them. Um, okay. That's a pretty decent amount of island hopping. That way you can save your Nook Miles. Hopefully in 40 islands, you can find an absolute cutie.
There we go. Alright, I'm gonna do that now before I forget. Oh no, I, I know you didn't do it to get more of anything, but I have them laying around. And a thousand bits is a lot. So I just want to give you more. Take this virtual currency. <laughs> I don't need them. I stopped uh, villager hunting once I had the ability to get whatever card I wanted on my device. People love to watch villager hunting. I'm just not that into it. Oh, wait, why did I come to you? Yeah, I no, I appreciate you being here. I just love helping people with this game. It's one of the small pleasures in life. Um, a friend. A Gret. I don't think I've been to your island yet. I think you came here, right? N M. Tease. Mail. All right, I'm going to skip to the next day. I'm going to order a handful of other things, and then I'll probably wrap it up there. I am ready. AC tomorrow too? Yeah, I think so. I still have to go through Wednesday to get my 31 days in a row challenge. My personal challenge that I did for myself. Thirty-one days of streaming in a row. Streams of cleanup and tweaks have been relaxing. I just, I feel like I'm so close. I'm so close to the end. You haven't let anyone here, so it's not ready. Fair. Alright, we sent you two letters for this day. We got two more letters coming. You're very welcome. So I want to get a clothes rack. What else did I say? Another car. Um, two more cars, I think, actually. Maybe. Oh no, one little clear of the throat. Why, baby, why? Why? Just a little bit more rocking. Rock him a little bit. Sway. Sway in mommy's arms. Smooth talking. Oh, he's teething. Aw. Yeah, it is hard, I'm sure, for babies. Constant discomfort, and you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to express how much this sucks. But let me cry. Poor babies. I feel like I've been teething for two years with these damn braces. Only three more months. April, May, June. Well, mid-June, so not even three months, really. Unless he tells me, because of COVID, when I couldn't go for a month, that I'm behind, which I, I asked him last time. I said, are we behind? He said, no. I said, thank God. 
because I'm so ready to have these things off. I've had the the elastics on. They finally feel normal. They're like not that bothersome. Poor teething baby though. Thanks, Tommy. Always looking out for me. All right, so I said clothes rack. What is it called? It's not called clothes rack, apparently. Maybe if I just type in rack. Laundry rack or something? Oh! Well, I should... Oh, really? Oh, because I put an apostrophe. Or a comma. Drying rack. Definitely that one fits my town. I hope he does like your son did. Not your daughter. Your son had two come in at a time. Back to back. It was awful. Ten months like worse sleepless nights. Tons of bad side effects of teething. Your daughter's teeth came in one at a time. Nice and spaced out. Dealt with teething for well over a year. A year? Oh, oh, yeah. I would... I'm sure there were nights where you were just like... You would just break down. Because it's like... Your body is so... Oh my god, yeah. I'd much rather get it over with, yeah. Yeah, like a... Fast and heavy rather than long and spaced out. Because it's not like it's any easier if it's spaced out. You're still feeling pain on a somewhat continual basis, you know? I'm sure it's actually much worse for the child, too. Kimono stand... I almost want that to work for the laundromat, but I don't think so. Forgot what else I was going to order already. My brain is fried. Typical. I wonder if I should put like a deluxe, I guess a deluxe washer outside would look kind of trashy. As fancy as it would look. You know, that might actually be the thing I put in front of signs. That's actually pretty tall. I'm going to buy one of those just to see if it goes in front of a sign really well. You wish you could get more items in yellow and black? Well, I can send you whatever items you may need. You tell me. I'm not sure what I would do. There's, um, what's the website? God, I stopped using it. You could like catalog everything that you had. Was it Nookazon? Villager DB or something? You could like catalog all the items you wanted and make like a wish list and give it to your friends and then they can just send items to you that are on your wish list and then you can remove them. That's the easiest thing to do. I think it's you can use either Nookazon or Villager DB. I think Villager DB is a little 
easier to set up. Like create an account and look through all the color variants of everything and then decide which ones you want. Add them to your list and then you can link that and people can send you. I'd be willing to send you stuff on it on a regular basis. Of course. This would be cute to put in somebody's yard. We'll order a blue hose. Maybe Blue Bear will be like our little gardener girl. Is this... It almost looks like a clock. I kind of want to order. I think I have one of those. I could try it in Julian's yard. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a process to set it up. I will say it takes a minute. Maybe we'll just get like a cute little lawn chair. I don't know. I had certain things in mind and now that I'm here to order them, I've completely forgotten them. So classic moments. Oh, I forgot about the pants press. I could get that for the laundromat, too. I might put one of these in Hopkins' backyard. Maybe a couple of these, actually. Oh shit, I already reached five. I'll forget by the next time I go to do this. Alright, let me go ahead and send you those other tickets. I was like 30 seconds away from forgetting that. Seriously, things will stay in my brain. I got about 10 minutes for little things like that before it's just like in and out. Like those items I was supposed to order took more than 10 minutes. They're gone. I don't even, not even a clue of what I had in mind. Even big things. Yeah, I... I was like, when I was in my 20s, I was like, I'll never need my phone for reminders. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need my phone for reminders. Instantly. <laughs> All the time now. Surprising grateful you've never forgotten a kid in the car. I mean, with the lack of sleep and the the um, amount of things that you have to get done each day it i mean people are bound to make mistakes like i get it you have left to go to school and forgot to drop them off but realized pretty quickly you went the wrong way <laughs> Never been gotten to school and been like, oh crap. I'm sure there's at least one point in most parents' lives, unless they have like, they're like at a ridiculous stickler for structure, where they like have forgotten something major like that. Like it's just a lot to keep track of day to day. There's no way you're going to be at 100 every day of the, your entire life for like two decades straight. It's just not, it's not humanly possible unless you're a machine. 
unless that is like your personality is like wanting that every second of every day and most people's personalities are not that Those mistakes happen. You can see how when they're quiet and you're thinking of other things, you just forget. Yeah, it's like your mind skips to the next thing in your your mental checklist. I was going to get a car bed. That was one. I guess next stream I'll get all this stuff picked up from in front of these houses. Maybe I'll work on these little signs. No, not that way. Let me grab you. Let me grab you. Why? I went to your mom's for Thanksgiving last year. Brought the diaper bag without diapers and wipes. <laughs> oh man. Yep. Yeah. All right, I think the street piano needs to be moved. I'm going to put little pinball machines back here. Maybe like a snack machine. It'll be like a little out, outdoor pinball arcade area to go with his indoor arcade. Which means I could fit the street piano. But like it works with Francine the most. Maybe I move the street organ. Oh my god, I'm getting sucked in again. I feel the game pulling me. Ah, <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, this actually matches her little stool, too. Gonna sneak off and grab the switch. He's finally asleep. Nice. Pull this over one more. How can I squeeze this street organ in here? I guess I can just get rid of this. This little blue pansy. Stick it in right here. put things on top of this? Probably not. No. All right, we got my garbage pail here.
That's cute. All right. Oh. Hero Kerapy snack. Oh my god, I love those. They're too fucking cute. I can't stand it. I want so many more. Did I put a bush there? Yeah. Why not? Shovel down. Do I have any more? Well, I guess that's it. This covers up bottom signs really well, too. I just don't think putting a workbench in front of every sign is that appealing visually. I was going to order a book to make another mini DIY library. It was definitely a thing. Put a shamrock shake down. Oh wait, no, I already did. Never mind. Okay, I'm done. I'm forgetting. I'm done. It's over. Pockets are clean. That's as good as we're getting. The perfect place to stop. Town's looking good. Still need to get rid of some flowers. Another day. I need to make Zen Garden. I need to like look at some pixel art for that. Come in with a plan. So I'm thinking I'll do some pixel art signage tomorrow. 
some more tweaking the outside time traveling and ordering and yeah i guess that's it that's probably all i'll have time for honestly bedtime comfy bedtime shirt hello for our hello shirt And that is a wrap. Into the bed. I want to go into dreamland. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, Agret, Alex. Uh, Michael, thank you for the resub. And Nikki, thank you for the resub. Agret, thank you for the biddies if you're out there listening, playing on that switch. Um, Jade, thank you for the host and for being here. Aspen, Twily Girl, who else was here today? Mr. Fab, um, Kinky, oh my god, we had Baron, Baron was here way earlier, went to bed at a decent hour, so proud. Um, to anyone that I may have missed, thank you for being here as well, it's 100% bedtime for me. Um, let's see... Who is online? I think... Prince Fastguard. Aw. Good to see you. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you sleep well. Um, maybe I should find I'll find a random animal crosser. I I never pick randoms anymore. Let's do a random animal crosser. Come and go Treasure Island. Black Pink Cafe. Ooh. See what this person's doing. Commercials. LGBTQIA2 plus streamers doing Animal Crossing tonight. I sure was all over the place tonight. We'll try this person. Kiwi streamer. A 
plays Animal Crossing New Horizons. He's doing daily tasks and decorating a lake for ketchup. His town's cute. Town's very cute. Hi, Anto. I do not speak Espanol. I do not. We're going to go, uh, this person's name is Mr. Peel in Z. He is a Kiwi. Pronouns he, him. And his, his island's really cute. It's got, who is that, Velma? It's not Velma. It's got a pretty lady goat, stitches, apple, peanut, ketchup, tangy, Oh my god, what's her name? Eric Zell Rolled. Got some cuties on his island. His island's got kind of a more country rustic feel. It's got the path, the dirt path. It's really cute. I love it. So I'm gonna send y'all over there. I don't have him I don't have any sound, but his stream looks pretty chill. So uh thanks for hanging out with me. Good night, sleep tight, sweet dreams. Mwah. I'll see y'all tomorrow. More Animal Crossing doing... Doing whatever I can get done in my town. I don't know. It's never a... I never have a plan. I should start making to-do lists for this game, but then I would feel too constrained, so I don't do that. Uh, but thanks for hanging out with me. Sleep tight, sweet dreams. So long. Enjoy Mr. Peel and Z when you get over there. Any hard emotes that you have? Pride love is a good choice. Virtual hugs, less than threes. If you have a sub heart emote, you can use that. Oh, I put in one of my emotes by accident there. But here's a few choices to put in his chat when you get there. The classics. And then if you have my emote, you can use that. Which is not in my most used somehow. Wait. Where's my heart emote? Did my heart emote disappear? I don't have my heart emote. Did it get removed from Twitch? Literally, it's gone, but. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I don't know. It's not in my list of emotes. It's really strange. Anyway, <laughs> sleep tight, sweet dreams so long. I'll see y'all tomorrow night for some Animal Crossing if you're around. If not, enjoy your day, enjoy your night, and I'll see you some other night. Bye, y'all. Take it easy.